In today's episode, we're going to take a look at this. It's a continuous belt printer from Creality. It's the CR30, but also known as Naomi Wu's print mill. Her picture's right here on the box. Why? Because she's the one that made this happen. She worked with Creality to bring this to reality, and it's going to be a Kickstarter later this month. Around $800 to $1,000 machine, and I got an early beta unit to check out, so let's check it out right here at Filament Friday. Film of Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. The printer comes mostly assembled, the bottom half with the belt all installed, and then an upper half. So the first thing you have to do is install these arms, and it just takes two screws to mount the bracket, one on each side. One side has the filament runout sensor, the other one is just a straight rail. After that, that top section lays on top of that, and then there's three screws down here at the bottom that go into the bracket. And then at the top, there's two screws that go into the rail. One's through a bracket, and the other one goes right into the rail. So it's really well-engineered and super strong. There's additional screws on the bottom here that go up into the rail. So this thing is literally built like a tank once it's done. It's not light, but it's very, very solid. Now, one thing that wasn't very solid was a spool holder. It's just got T-nuts to put in place, but once I tightened this thing up, it was still really loose. The screws were bottoming out into the rail. So what I did is put a washer on the screws. So this is one issue that I'll have to let them know about. And then I put the T-nut on and then I put it back in place. So I put washers on both screws. And once I did that, it was solid. So that fixed it. The next thing I had to do is install the LCD. It's a little different uh, than any other LCD I've seen. There's a connector at the back and one solid wire that stays there. I'm not sure what's going on with that. I had to look at the electronics while I had it, so I popped open the cover. It's a 32-bit processor, a version 4.2.5 board, and it's got a 24-volt, 15-amp power supply, so very similar to the existing Ender 3s. It's got the dual gear drive for the extruder, and then, like I said, a filament runout sensor that feeds into it. I got it together, and there's a few connections that they didn't describe in the manual, but I made those connections. One was... Uh, the stop switch down here wasn't connected and also there was a wire up here going to the uh, filament runout sensor and of course the LCD connector but I think I got everything now what's confusing is in the manual they talk about two limit switches against the X sliding block which is this right here and there is one stop switch and it's optical so it's got a bar that goes in between a crossing LED in the, in the sensor and that's what actually stops it. It's not an actual stop switch but it says there's two and they do give me an extra one but there's no instructions on how to install it or where to install it so I just figured this was extra but it does refer to two even though there's one so that's a little confusing but I'm just gonna try and home this thing and see how it does so let's turn it on and it's got this really cool screen comes up with the 3d print mill scrolls across and then it uh, shows Marlin 2.0.6 and then once that's done we can go to the motion menu it's not prepare it's motion <laughs> motion menu and then auto home let's see if there's a home let's move down now it's moving across and there's a stop switch on the arm here looks pretty good and the the heater block is not hitting so I can slide a paper underneath that nozzle and it's pretty close to the bed so I may have to adjust but I think I'm gonna just print with it like this and we'll go from there now I want to test the belt to see if it moves so I put two chuck cubes in line with each other a white one on the rail and an orange one on the belt so I'm gonna move the belt Okay, the move Z and oh yeah it's moving look you can see the, the two chuck cubes are separating so looks like that's all connected and working right everything's tensioned there's two screws up here for tensioning the belt and getting it set but it looks like it's running pretty true to form there is a tensioner back here for the belt because there's a stepper that drives the belt that drives the belt so I think we're ready to run our first test print. 
I'm going to run a sample print, which I think is a Benchy, that's been sliced to print at this angle. So let's try that. This is actually a test print that I got from Naomi, and it started out really good, but then as you can see, it failed. So I have to adjust the bed. To adjust the height, you loosen these four screws, and then there's a single screw to adjust the position of the stop sensor. After I adjusted that nozzle, I mistakenly chose the wrong file. So this is what it actually printed. This little block came out pretty good and it stuck to the bed. So this was my first official print on the CR30. I did get the Benchy to print and it turns out it was 10 Benchies. This thing just continues to print until it prints out 10. I actually stopped it early so I could look at the Benchies. I was able to get the Benchy to run. In fact, it was a print that you printed multiple Benchies. So the print quality on these things is, is good. I wouldn't say it's spectacular. And these are all pre-sliced. I haven't even used the slicer yet. It takes a different slicer than a standard slicer. Um, so the print quality is eh, okay. I'm sure it's going to get better with time. But this is a beta unit. And really, it's, it's a community project in many ways. William Steele, or Bill Steele, showed his version of a belt printer with an angled belt back at Midwest Rep Rep Festival in 2017. And Naomi actually talked to him, had him over in, to China to talk to Creality, and that kind of got things started. And then uh, NAC 3D, he's, he's got several videos on this. He's actually done the White Knight belt printer, and he's contributed to Naomi on this. And now community members like myself, Angus at Maker's Muse, Joel Telling at 3D Printing Nerd, we've all gotten one of these machines to give our feedback. Um, so I'm going to play with it some more. I definitely want to print some big things on this. I just didn't have time to get this video up here this Friday, but that's what I plan to do. More bigger prints on this to see what it's capable of. So what are your thoughts about this printer and what do you want to see me print in a future video? Let me know in the comments below. So that's it for this week. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos popping up. And if nothing else, click on that CHEP logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.